Red vs. Blue Season 15 Episode 9 Rigged has officially released, so let me break it down for you. So Sarge is undergoing an interview with Dylan and Jax because Temple and Serge don't trust them. So they send Sarge to secretly interrogate them, which didn't go very well. So it seems as though Sarge is acclimating well to the new group, so much so that he's now taking orders from them. So while Sarge's footage is practically useless for Dylan's story, Tucker gets summoned by Temple to have a word. After Temple is done buttering Tucker up and kissing his ass, he makes Tucker question Dylan and her motive because she didn't tell him about Spencer. Now Temple is obviously trying to get rid of Dylan for some reason. First he sends Sarge to question her, and now he makes Tucker not trust her. That is some shady actions from Temple. In a matter of two scenes, of the two that we've seen so far, he has sent Sarge and Tucker after Dylan. Now, is Dylan in the right? No, she should have told Tucker about Spencer even if he wasn't dangerous. Is Temple in the right? No, it looks as though he's trying to make everyone not trust her. Is Tucker in the right? Technically speaking, yes. He has all the right in the world to be angry with Dylan for not disclosing such information with him. But still, Temple has shady. Then, who decides to drop in and show their face and throw a wrench into everything? Doc. You see, Doc has apparently been bunking with his friends, the Blues and the Reds. He says he's known them since before the Reds and Blues. So, if Doc is to be believed, so many different ideas out there are gone and out the window. Fragments of church, clones, AIs based on the Reds and Blues, all gone. Presuming Doc isn't off his meds, or on all of them, and hasn't been influenced or manipulated in any way, which there is really no reason to think that. So, even if they came before the Reds and Blues, I still don't trust them. Mainly Temple and Surge. But nonetheless, Tucker's anger with Dylan seems to be only growing because of the lack of information, but the Blues and Reds need parts to fix their cloaking device, so they break up into teams and search. But mainly, they get to know one another. One of the big things that we learn is that they don't have a Griff, or more so an orange guy. All these things that are happening, I feel as though they're giving us clues and hints as if we should be piecing something together. Like, why don't they have an orange guy? But instead of seeing the puzzle, all I'm seeing are pieces and I don't know where this is going. Meanwhile, with Tucker and Simmons, we find out that Simmons doesn't like Gene. He finds him nerdy, annoying, and overall unlikable. Nothing like the real Simmons. But Donut and Cronut seem to be getting along by talking about art. Or dicks, I really don't know. There's also Loco and Caboose that appear to be a bit different on the building things brain level. Loco is a bit of a mad engineer. Now I don't know who voices Loco, but god damn is it amazing. Because it sounds just like Joel, but also like, not at all. It's not relevant to the episode, I just wanted to mention it. So upon Temple being already shady as hell, he decides to double down on that, saying, It's great that you're safe, but we should contact your freelancer friends. Where are they? Alright, if anyone among this group really is evil, probably Temple. Maybe everyone is oblivious and just pawns of Temples, but Temple continues to rub me the wrong way. Then we get a teaser of Wash and Carolina on a tropical location, and I'm honestly shocked that it took this long to cut to them. The writers didn't leave us wondering with the psychos. It's surprisingly not a cliffhanger we're cutting away from to see what they're up to. So now the important question is, who could it be? I expressed my interest in the triplets, other MIA candidates include Utah and Georgia, as for being ones that we've already met. However, I feel as though the road they may go down is 479er. She was a pretty liked character among everyone. Her story never got a conclusive end. She's MIA like the rest, but she wasn't technically a freelancer. She works for Project Freelancer, so I'm all for the triplets or 479er because chances of Utah or Georgia appearing, very slim. But that was the episode. Be sure to let me know what you guys thought of the episode down in the comments. Do you still trust the Reds and Blues? And who do you think Wash and Carolina are visiting? Be sure to let me know. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're interested in more content like this, and I'll see you in the next video.